Happy Tuesday. April 3, 4-3. Um, I don't know. I've had a good, good few weeks in Columbus. Learned a lot. Met a lot of great people. And uh, once again, meeting more people just enriches the soul. <laughs> It opens, uh, for me, it opens my heart. I get to share experiences with people or listen to the experiences that they've had in their lives. And it just, it blows the door off things. Um, I'm immensely grateful at, their, at everyone's willingness to share their stories with us. And uh, I look forward to learning more about them and, and other people that process of taking their stories and filtering it into a fictional narrative is exciting and scary and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I look forward to getting back to LA and, and hanging with friends and family and getting back to my routine for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm a smiley mess, which is a good mess. Um, I want to have more experiences like this, you know, and uh, just continue to create. Look forward to getting back to some painting, and that's scary too. I haven't painted in a couple weeks, and, you know, the nature of my creative muscle is... I, is the cycle of like self doubt and and then beauty and then maybe some fear and then excitement and gratitude, <laughs> some self doubt and just rinse and repeat and I uh, I'm grateful to remember to be able to remember that oh yeah I've been here before in this creative process and I hope to continue to always be in this process. It's just another level of, uh, or an extension of uncover, discover, and discard, and and uh, vulnerability and humility and courage, all of which I think everyone possesses and everyone taps into in their daily lives. Even if they, even if you know the people that don't think they're creative, but every day they have, they, they get an opportunity to get up and do some what I may consider or even they consider a mundane job. You know, I think I had to do that. And I didn't do that at times in the past when I did something that I didn't love doing. You know, the amount of stories that I've heard in the last couple of weeks of parents who've sacrificed old careers, you know, doctors and, you know, professors that have come to, you know, the United States for their children's sake and their safety and just picked up a new language and worked a warehouse job to sacrifice for their, their, their children and the next generation. I mean, that's, and you know, my ancestors maybe did that too. I don't even know, you know, and maybe yours, you know, it's, it's intense. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Happy, grateful. Much love.